Hi there, this is Zoe from Tuku, tech you can use. Today we're quickly going to cover how to insert or upload a photo to your WordPress website. Whether you're uploading a photo using this icon, a video using this icon, a piece of audio like an mp3 file, or a piece of media such as a PDF or a Word document, the process is very similar. So we're going to cover photograph, but it should be enough information to help you upload a video, an mp3 file, or a document of some sort. To begin, choose where you'd like your photo to appear on your page simply by placing your cursor there. I'm going to choose the beginning of that sentence so you see my cursor is now here and that's where my photo will be inserted. I'm going to click on the add an image icon. I do have the option to choose an image from my computer or from a URL and any image that I do upload will be available in my gallery or my media library for future use. In this case I'm just going to click on select files. It gives me the opportunity to browse to anywhere on my computer. I have a picture prepared for web use on my desktop. So I've selected it and I'm just going to click open. The photo is now uploaded and ready to be inserted. We do have a couple of options that we can fill in here. A best practice is to always insert alternate text anytime you insert a photo. If somebody is unable to download a photo or for some reason has images blocked, at least they'll see a placeholder with your alternate text indicating that you intended that a picture would show up in that area of your content. So something as simple as some descriptive text about the image that you've inserted is sufficient. If you choose, you can add a caption. You don't have to, but I'll add one just to show you what it looks like. And in the description, if you like, again, you can add some additional information about what is found in this photo. If you were uploading, let's say, uh, a company photo from a company picnic, you could say company picnic XYZ company 2009 or whatever might be appropriate. Uh, in this case, I do not want the photo that I am inserting to act as a link uh, to another website or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this None button, which will blank out this link URL box. And my, now my picture will not add, uh, act as a link to another website. If I wanted the photo to link to another website, I could type in a URL here, for example, yahoo.ca. And so it would then link to that, but uh, I don't want it to link to anything. So I'll click none. I'll choose how I want my photo to be uh, justified within the text. So you can have the text wrapped to the right of the photo or to the left, or you can stick it in the center. Uh, I'm just gonna choose right randomly. If you have not prepared your photo for uh, web up uploading, um, in terms of size, then you might want to do that here by choosing size medium. That'll scale down the image. Mine's already prepared for web. It's small enough, so we don't have to do that. I'll click insert into post. And there you have our new picture. I'm going to hit update to save our changes. And I'll now click on the view post tab up here so that we can see the work that we've done. If we open the new tab, we see that the picture is placed with the text justified to the right around our photo. We've got a light gray box around the image with our caption in the bottom. If we had chosen not to apply a caption, it would just be a floating image without the gray border and without the caption. So if you have any other questions on inserting a photo into your WordPress website, feel free to visit us online at tuku.ca. And if you like, you can click on the Talk to Tuku button where you can find our email and our telephone number. We're happy to hear from you and answer any questions about your WordPress website or help you get online with a new WordPress website for your business. Thanks for listening in today. Have a great day.